In the last decade and a half, there have been many big threes in the NBA since KG decided to join the Boston Celtics. He reported a couple weeks ago that he really wanted to play with Kobe Bryant back in 07-08 NBA season. Now, imagine if KG really would have joined and played with Kobe Bryant back in 07-08 season. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Will. Back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about imagine if KG would have joined forces with Kobe Bryant back in 2007-2008 back in NBA season. Now, before we get into this video, I would like to take a moment in silence and to remember all the beautiful souls in that helicopter crash. RP all the nine victims. RP Kobe and Gigi. And yeah, man, let's take a moment in silence, y'all. Now, if you're new to my channel, I want to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on post notifications of a video I'll be dropping every week. I drop weekly NBA content just like this. Now, without further ado, let's imagine Kevin Garnett on the LA Lakers with Kobe Bryant. Now, first of all, the Lakers starting lineup, they would have to trade Paul Gasol and Andrew Bynum to make it happen. They can keep Trevor Ariza, and they can also keep Derek Fisher, but I believe they will have to trade them two pieces of Paul Gasol and Andrew Bynum. Now, let's put Kevin Garnett on the LA Lakers with Kobe Bryant. First of all, I believe in 07-08 season, the Lakers finished with, 50, finished with records 57-25, with Phil Jackson being the, coach, the best coach in the league at the time. Their defense was ranked 19th. I believe adding KG to that piece, I believe their defense will be top 10. I believe it will be either number 10 or number 9 because KG is an amazing defender down low. Paul Gasol is a decent defender. He's an underrated defender, but Paul Gasol, he make army. He's pretty soft down there versus bigger centers and bigger power force. Down there. Putting Kevin Garnett down there will add more, add more toughness to the Lakers. Also, add a little more leadership also with Kobe Bryant leading the show. And the starting lineup will probably look like Derek Fisher, Kobe, Trevor Reza, Kevin Garnett, and unfortunately, Kwame Brown. That's the only problem. They will have to try to trade Kwame Brown or do something with him because that is a liability piece to have on the Lakers at the time. That was a terrible piece they had. Let's not get into that. I think the Lakers will definitely... I feel like they will be a dynasty with... Uh, same way with KG. Same way with Paul Gasol. They would be a dynasty. Because I really think that will work. Kobe Bryant leading the show. KG dominating down low. KG will probably average 20, 25 and like 11. I think he would be a lot better than he was on Boston. Don't get me wrong. When he was on Boston, he was the key piece to that team. He was one of the key pieces. But he wasn't the same as he was in Minnesota. Him on the Lakers, yes, Kobe. You can, people say Kobe doesn't pass. I, I, actually, Kobe averaged five assists in his career. So he would be getting, him, he would be getting KG the ball. I would guarantee you that. Plus, when KG was on Boston... KG, there's no argument. The Boston Celtics would not have won that championship without Kevin Garnett. It was definitely the most overhyped championship of all time. They would never have won that championship without Kevin Garnett on that team. You take Kevin Garnett off the Boston Celtics, Boston Celtics probably lose in the second round. Just with Paul Pierce and Ray Allen, probably Kendrick Perkins at the starting center. They would not. I would, they would probably go a little further, but I think I think LeBron would have beat that team without Kevin Garnett. With Kevin Garnett on the Lakers, they'll be obviously the team to look up for in the West. Kobe Bryant. It would not affect Kobe Bryant's game. KG would just be dominated down low. Now, the only flip side to that is how long would it pan out, and would it be a dynasty? 
let's imagine if the Lakers would have went up against Boston without Kevin Garnett. Yes, they would have they would have beat him in six five, six games if if Kevin Garnett was on the Lakers and which is Kendrick Perkins on Boston Celtics. If the Lakers would have went up against LeBron at the time, they would have beat him again. They would have to beat him probably a five, six games also. Now, if the Lakers, the only thing with the Lakers, the only creeping at the Lakers is San Antonio. That would have been a great series with Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mon Ginobili, and the crew versus the 07 08 Lakers with Kevin Garnett. That series would have went seven. That's the only creep tonight the Lakers will really have to face in the West. Other than that, I think the Lakers would have won probably, you know, two same thing, two championships with Kevin Garnett. I don't think it'll probably be the same outcome. It'll just be, be better defense. And it, it, at first, it probably, you know, they will have to figure things out chemistry wise, obviously. But I honestly think it will work. They will have to get rid of Kwame Brown. They definitely needed to keep Lamar Odom. They'll have to get rid of Paul Gasol and Andrew Ryder, probably. They'll have to get somebody other than... I mean, they, they could probably keep all the role players they had. I still think they will win it. It's just they will have to go up against San Antonio. And they probably will lose to San Antonio probably the first season. I think the second season they will win it and beat San Antonio and win the championship. 0809. It probably honestly it might be the same outcome. It might be the same outcome. I don't think it would be nothing different. I think the Lakers defense would be a lot better with Kevin Garnett. Better leadership. Same same scoring. I mean they average 109 points 07 08 season. I think it would be the same thing. Kevin Garnett's play, his scoring will be a little more up than he when he was on Boston, I believe. I think he would be averaging about 24, 25 on the Lakers. I really do. Because it's more to work with. In Boston, he had Paul Pierce and Ray Allen. In L.A., he, he would have just Kobe. I mean, you have Lamar Odom coming off the bench being the, a great six man that he is. But honestly, Kobe was averaging about 31, 32 points at the time. Kobe would have a lot more help with Kevin Garnett then with Paul Gasol. Even though Paul Gasol is a Hall of Famer, don't get me wrong. It's just Kevin Garnett is still more of a defensive force and he's more dominant down low. One of the best power forwards of all time. Now, do I think this is 07-08 Lakers team where Kevin Garnett can beat the Miami Heat bit three? That's a tough one. In a seven-game series, if they would have went to the finals, because it, it, it never happened. They never faced off against each other would do it with just Paul Gasol. If the Lakers would have somehow made it to the finals with Miami at the time, of, in probably the 2011 season, being Dallas, that would have went seven. I still think Miami would have pulled it off because Miami is more deep than the Lakers and they have a better defense and you have LeBron and D-Wade and Chris Bosh. I mean, that's, that's Gigi right there. But Kevin Garnett and Kobe would have put up a fight for sure. You can make an argument they would have beat him. But I still think the Miami would have beat him. But this 07 08 Lakers team, adding Kevin Garnett, taking Paul Gasol off, they're definitely not better than Miami. The Miami Heat team with Bit 3 with uh, LeBron, D Way, and Chris Bosch. But they're definitely formidable adding Kevin Garnett. Still keeping Garrett Fisher, Trevor Reza, Lamar Oldham off the bench, and still keeping Andrew Bynum. Well, I, well, they had to get rid of. I believe they had to get rid of Andrew Bynum, or just try to get rid of Paul Gasol and Kwame Brown to work, man. Now, this duel will be nothing like Kobe and Shaq, but it would definitely be a duel to watch out for. It would definitely be very intriguing to watch, and they would definitely win a lot of games and probably win the championships together. So it's definitely intriguing. If y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure to give your boy a like. And also follow my social media, my Twitter and my Instagram. And also, and also click the video on the top right screen and the top left screen. Thank y'all for tuning in for this video. It's been your boy Will, and I'm out. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. This hoes got me sidetracked. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. Well, I don't even mind that. Man, this hoes got me sidetracked. These hoes got me sidetracked. Goddamn, I'm so.